you mentioned about this uh, chromium getting generated uh, due to electroplating. Mm, yes, sir. And uh, uh, why instead of uh, neutralizing chromium, uh, you know, you might be aware that chromium is also being used uh, by the medical industry for uh, diabetes or diabetic patients. So why not look for a means of converting this chromium, which is a waste, directly into medical product, and it'll make the whole thing much cheaper. I mean, this is just a suggestion about the low-cost sanitation. I mean, uh, of course, uh, you mentioned the government has discontinued that practice, but uh, uh, you know that aerobic solution, which wherein uh, uh, you know. Live uh, entities are used to uh, sort of, uh, uh, you can say, feed on uh, the human faces so that, uh, you know, no such waste is generated, uh, which finally goes to the soil. How about that part? I mean, uh, has that part been taken into uh, account? That is the second point. My two, three points are there for Dr. Murli. Besides all these technical issues, particularly for the environment care, kindly include some activity or some food for thought for the social and NGO organizations who are engaged in environmental care. This is one important point. Second important point I would like to mention over here, how the corporates can look after all these technical issues, particularly in the industrial hazards, industrial chemicals, and to take care of the environmental care. So if you link these two important points, which I have in my mind, definitely our review, your review article and further studies would be of some better for the practical use point of view. Because the Prime Minister, the Swachya Bharat Abhiyan, which you have also mentioned slightly in your sanitation activity. So if we connect with the social organizations, NGO organizations, it would be great. One, I have one more observation. I come from Rajasthan. You said this uh, toilets and all other this waste and excreta. On the contrary, in the desert area, particularly when the soil is very sandy, where farmers love it to have it in their field also and to use it as the compost type of the for, uh, manure. So that is also to be seen instead of going for this thing, saying that it may not uh, it will deplete the soil quality, water quality. Definitely, in the congested area, it would. But if you go into the open area, desert I mean, soil, soil area, definitely that the thought process is totally different. So thank you very much, Dr. Murli. It's being used by the medical industry for treating diabetes. diabetes. So diabetes. it is a useful product. Why not uh, uh, this uh, offshoot of the electroplating, uh, the chromium you mentioned, so why not uh, get uh, convert this uh, into uh, the product for the medical uh, usage so that uh, we are able to bring down the cost of uh, diabetic medicines also convert waste into useful product that that was my after collecting the the leaf powder which were already absorbed uh, which has already absorbed the chromium i want to use it for Again, for plant growth, because chromium is also a one of the micronutrients required with plant growth. And for, for that purpose, I want to extract from it. First part of OZ is removal from the wastewater or raw water where it is not required. But even the chromium is a very costly chemical which is used in the uh, paper mill. It is a very costly chemical, sir. We are actually, we are uh, purchasing from the other countries. So, when we stored in the, uh, that uh, fruit or uh, out, uh, then, then, that, then will be, it will be dangerous. So, whether it is used for the growth of the plant or not, like that, I want to try for several options, but my main focus is low cost methods, sir. I, by using the, the cost must be low so that every industry will have a tendency to use it, sir. For that purpose only, I am doing the research. Of course, IT, I, I, I thought that it will be finished within five or ten years. 
mentioned, uh, of course, uh, uh, Dr. Garg also has uh, already given another suggestion because based on the Rajasthan experience, uh, you know, the human excreta may not always be a negative thing. It can be a positive one also because uh, uh, in yes, cases sir. it can be used as, uh, you know, fertilizer for the field. And uh, uh, it can also be converted into gas. I mean, uh, uh, that's another way of doing it. It's yeah. a funded a research project in MIT where simply night soil can be human excreta can be used as can be converted into drinking water. Like this, there is definitely all the human excreta, all the organic compounds are having specific use. What yeah. my research study is, which type of soil is useful useful for that? The type of soil it depends upon the surrounding environment. Yet some areas where now nowadays sir, waste water is not treated as a waste. Waste water is now treated as a resource for getting a raw water. So most of the places where the water is highly scarce, we are partly purifying that waste water. We are using it for gardening, bathing, etc. For washing the clothes because except for drinking. So like that, here we have to some areas definitely human excreta will improve the soil quality definitely so but as uh, cell in our college we are adopting nearby village and with our technology how to uh, uh, convert that village into environmental friendly village by using the low cost methods well, I am taking the students there. We have adopted there. I am creating the environment awareness uh, on the behalf of uh, uh, NSS. And I am taking the students. And we are working towards the plantation and uh, a low cost uh, method for uh, to, um, converting uh, food waste into manure and uh, how to give that manure to the uh, surrounding. Uh, uh, agricultural areas and uh, uh, we are designing a, a open drainage system by using which they can uh, avoid the problem of uh, wastewater disposal. So like this, I am, I am planning like this. At, at, at this level, by using the NSS uh, funds, I want to develop uh, that uh, village with my uh, my experience. Sir. That, uh, that uh, as a NS, uh, as an NGO. Sustainability. Today, this yes, word and uh, the very simple thing that you can add, like you know, how to adopt the sustainability nature to the day to day life to, to improve this environmental effect uh, and the larger effect of the, what is the green effect of the carbon emission, the reducing the footprint. I think overall goal is that only the plantation, the wastewater management, the managing the uh, open defecation and all. So I think if you add a little bit to your the entire program, uh, I hope that will be the very good one, very good one. And that is just simply the adaptability and the nature change. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely, everything must be in the closed cycle, sir. Just like nitrogen cycle, just like carbon cycle. Whatever method we propose, that must be a closed cycle, then only environmental sustainable. The uh, waste product of a particular process must become a raw material for another process. So like that, ultimately, we have to close that circle and it must be done. Then only no waste product will be existing, uh, uh, will exist on the earth and all the products are useful products. Sir. So for that only, sir, for that closed circle only. discussion that happened between you and uh, Professor Vinay Kumar, I am reminded of this circular economy. That is one yes, way sir. of ensuring sustainability. I mean, uh, of course, I am working with a group in uh, ITU on this particular subject and there were a number of case studies we gave from India. I mean, uh, maybe we can give many more because uh, we had come from diverse parts of the country. Uh, you know, we had given examples of uh, like, uh, uh, you know, there are uh, ways which happen in the case of uh, in Kashmir, we have Gabba industry and uh, we have Kantha in West Bengal. So these are value-added products out of waste. 
So, I mean, like that, instead of creating waste, we can convert waste also into valuable products so that uh, uh, the generation of waste is reduced. I mean, it's a circular concept. And same yes, way, yes. we're using plastics for roads in Chennai. A professor yes, from sir. one of the, uh, all of us are aware of it. So, same way, if we convert everything into circular economy, I think uh, sustainability can be ensured. Uh, consider the sustainability, the total earth will fail after 100 years, sir. Year, year yes. after, for everything, we have to go for it. Even for uh, ec economic also, we have to increase the purchase power of the consumers, not uh, uh, giving uh, free things, sir. Finally, because uh, I, I don't have, I, I have very little knowledge in the economics, but uh, it should be circular and it should be beneficial to the the money flow should benefit all the sectors so that it will be financial sustainability sir so like this here uh, uh, sir here now the technology is increasing uh, uh, now the latest uh, uh, technique is one industry will produce one product and other waste products but other the, uh, the waste products of a particular industry will become the raw material for other industries sir. Uh, so like that now they are planning like that sir so like that one two three ten industries will be there uh, waste products of first industry will be the raw material for the second industry and the waste products of the second second uh, industry will uh, will be used as a raw material for third industry sir like that now we want to have a, a, a technological closed cycle like that everything the product raw materials will be there in that closure system and only products will be there no pro uh, waste products so like that we have to improve that system sir so now that, that is more focused on that sir